Hello and welcome. This is Neeti Central. You're with me, Akash, and we all know how important health is to us. And as India, which is a very young country, and we are still developing, a uh, lot of uh, Indians are having healthcare issues. And uh, of course, um, to talk to me that how. Uh, India is uh, in terms of healthcare and where do we stand globally and what are the expectations because the budget is just on the corner to talk to me about all these issues i have uh, amol naikwadi who is the joint managing director of indus health plus amol welcome to the show thank you thank you akash uh, so amol uh, as we know that the health care uh, healthcare is a very important uh, you know aspect of uh, of the young india because uh, you know young indians are falling ill like anything and uh, so yeah. where do you think that the india when it comes to healthcare facilities providing healthcare facilities on a global platform where do we stand okay see uh, what you said is very right that india uh, and specifically the young indians are in a very unfortunate state because as a country we would like to uh, progress on lot many things but not certainly on the lifestyle diseases mm-hmm. and right now the scenario is that on lot of lifestyle diseases uh, india is an unfortunate capital of that or sometimes we are still even on that front we are fighting with china whether they will have the first position or we will have okay so that's an unfortunate uh, state and what has to be done that the health has to be given a topmost priority mm-hmm. if you see from a global scenario the positive side which has happened because this is the unfortunate side which i spoke about but right. on the positive side what has happened is the uh, if you see the globally the focus on health has increased mm-hmm. if you look at india and specifically the private healthcare and other things right the facilities have now become at par with the international standards that is the best part about it right so what whatever was available in the global market uh, comparatively developed market or the western market mm-hmm. now similar kind of or in some cases even better facilities are available in india right but again limited to uh, metros and some still it here yes, to town yes yes that was my next question that you know uh, you said that this is the positive side that you know we're getting international standard health health cares in our country but it is only yes. restricted to the people who are living in the metros who are living you know or living in big, big cities but what about people who are living in the rural areas how do they benefit with all these international quality you know a a1 grade uh, healthcare facilities that we have correct see there uh, there is a comparatively uh, a better growth right now what the problem what you say is certainly there mm-hmm. that the majority of facilities are in metros that's what i also mentioned right but to some extent things are changing in smaller towns but mm-hmm. i think it will take a long time and it needs government intervention right a government's role as a catalyst mm-hmm. which they have to come forward so that uh, even the uh, in those sectors right or those cities there is a growth see it is not just about putting a building right if you ask me healthcare as a business is very very complex it's not just about uh, putting a building or something different professionals mm-hmm. uh, which are in the care city have to come together right and that ecosystem has to be created for a uh, a healthcare infrastructure to be created in one city that's that's absolutely Because, right uh, uh, we also work in lot of markets in tier 2 a uh, lot of uh, hospitals in tier 2 markets in other places mm-hmm. and we feel there is certainly a challenge right though bigger hospitals with whom also we work in metros and other thing mm-hmm. they all, all aspire to go to smaller towns right because they know that that's an underserved market there is an opportunity there that's true. they would want to do it there right but the challenge is right from getting a quality doctor at that place hmm or his intent to stay in a small town because right. everybody has an aspiration right now if you see right overall infrastructure development in bigger cities mm-hmm. and in smaller cities there is a drastic difference that's right so that ecosystem has to be developed Mm-hmm. then only right from the doctors and super specialists would want to stay in those cities no? that's so as they become our if they move up to a bigger city there's a doctor challenge that's right or all the manpower challenge that's right and you can't deliver a healthcare mm-hmm. without these professionals help that's true so it's not just because sometimes equipments can go mm-hmm. 
buildings can be created. Right. But on day-to-day basis, so the entire ecosystem has to change. That's and, right. And the cities, if you see, even in tier two cities, mm-hmm. where there is too some amount of this ecosystem has developed. Right. These are the cities where uh, these brands have reached. Or healthcare there is getting developed mm-hmm. because uh, uh, all these parts in the ecosystem are there. That's right. That's true. Uh, so uh, now coming to the most important thing that you said, the government intervention is required. So w- 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 and of course, as we talked earlier, also that uh, the budget is just on the corner. So what are your expectations Correct. that the finance minister would uh, mm-hmm. should do basically that uh, that the healthcare. Uh, in India, also, yeah. it's a booming thing, but it becomes more blossoming. How do you think that is going to happen? Correct. So I think the first and the foremost thing, uh, we know that India unfortunately lacks on the public spending on healthcare, mm-hmm. almost on the bottom. Right. Almost one sixty fourth or one eighty fourth, which is towards bottom, which is much less than couple of our neighbors mm-hmm. or a lot of other. Uh, developing or underdeveloped countries. Mm-hmm. So the commitment the, uh, from the uh, public spending right. towards healthcare, which is around 1.6 only today, mm-hmm. has to at least go up to 3%. Right. Because the government has been talking about it, because that is a commitment which this sector needs. Right. Because we are talking about a country of 1.2 billion population right. who has to be addressed. That's true. So, so that is the first thing uh, which government has to look mm-hmm. at. Second thing, I think, uh, if you see specifically uh, the current government, even in their manifesto, mm-hmm. and post that on multiple ways, they have spoken about the importance of prevention and healthy India. Right. But uh, those have been done in bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. The way a couple of their in other initiatives have been communicated and have come as a forefront, mm-hmm. like Swachh Bharat, right? Uh, Swachh Bharat, Swachh Bharat, or uh, about Make in India, right? So that kind of a long-term commitment to this cause, right, of improving healthcare, mm-hmm. has to be done to has to be done with a long-term purpose, maybe a five or ten-year plan, right. If, if you see right now, the government has already put a very positive draft healthcare right. a policy, mm-hmm. which is for in the public domain right now for their comments and other things. Right. Which is certainly a positive side. But along with that, in that, they're talking about a lot of regulatory framework, health as a priority right of an, every individual right. across the country. So that kind of commitment has to be given to that. That's right. To the healthcare. That's because if you see healthcare from different point of view, if you look at from the population point of view, mm-hmm. health of a country or right. its people matters a lot for any developing country which is wanting to grow, which is growing and wish to grow. Right. Well, well, that's that's a good point. I think uh, you have made over there. And um, on that note, thank you very much, Apol, for coming on the show and sparing your time with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.